Hey, good people. Welcome back to Mimosas and Make... No? Why? Try it again. <laughs> hey, good people. Welcome back to Beauty in the Frizz. My name is Kara. Whether you're new or returning, thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me for another one today. It's gonna be Sunday when you're watching this, so. So it's mimosas and makeup. I actually just have some wine today. It is Pinot Grigio. And I am so excited because I am finally going to be doing some looks with the Mothman palette by Notoriously Morbid. I know it's been a long time coming, but the time has come. So if you want to see the palette, the swatches, and three looks, and just hear me chat it up, keep watching this video, let me know what you think. And if makeup is your therapy and your love, if it makes you happy and you want to hang out with someone that feels the same way, definitely consider joining the community. I'd love to have you back. All right, let's get started. Oh, the Mothman palette. So I did not purchase the Mothman palette when it first came out and I didn't get it in PR. The reason why is because I don't know anything about the Mothman and y'all probably know I don't like oddly shaped palettes. Like it just didn't attract me, but the color story is really great. So the Mothman palette, I think it released in January is $69.99 and it's actually still in stock if you're interested. I had no idea what the Mothman was, but Notoriously Morbid is a small indie brand from West Virginia. And I believe that that's where the Mothman was sighted in the 60s. And this Mothman on their palette is super cute, but I feel like the real one probably wasn't cute because it was like 10 feet. It was black and had these red eyes and wings and was sighted supposedly at different events. I'm not sure about what the beans have to do with it, but I don't know, I have to look into it. I just didn't have enough time to gather all of that info for the video because it's like a real cult following. Like there's a statue, people put beans at the statue. There's a lot going on with that. But we're gonna talk about this beautiful palette and do three looks, including this one, which spoiler is my favorite. This is so cute. Like this Mothman, I would not mind this Mothman in my life. Some of the ones I saw online, I'm like, absolutely not. Absolutely not. But this one is so cute. This palette is vegan and cruelty free. It has a 24 month shelf life. And I may have already said that it's $69.99. I do have a code beauty in the frizz 15 to save you 15%. Now the way this palette works is has a top that completely comes off, which I'm not a huge fan of. And then you've got the full moon and the, you know, the, the black night and it has a mirror. So really cute. Uh, we're gonna take a look at this color story. It's kind of hard to get all of it in the camera, but we are gonna take a look at this baby up close. There are 15 shades, and I believe all of the names have to do with Mothman. If you can visualize it, this color story is a good one, I think, for people who like more toned down and neutral looks, but it may be hard to see. So I got my hands on this palette because uh, maybe a month or so after it released, um, Notoriously Morbid asked me, did I want the palette? And I was like, sure, I would really love to because some of you guys were asking me, did I get it? And I was like, no, I don't think I'm gonna really like it. But I really think that I was just looking at the layout of the palette and just not giving it a chance because I don't like oddly shaped palettes, you know what I mean? But looking at the color story and after making looks, I think this palette is really cute. So let's go ahead and get into the swatches. And look at the little butt. I just wanna show you a little butt. I'll probably be talking about the little butt several times in this video, cause I just remembered I said that when I was doing one of my looks. Let's start with these swatches now and I'm going to give you a description of each shade. So first we have 1966, which is a champagne gold sparkle shadow. Lots of sparkle in this one. And just so y'all know, you know, I don't use any primer or any trickery. One of my favorite shades in the palette is Gimme Them Beans, an umber brown base multi-chrome that shifts scarlet, burnt orange, Kelly green. Ooh, the pizza's here for the boys. Look at that. This is one of my favorite shades. We definitely see those shifts. I see the Kelly green. I see the burnt orange and I see the scarlet. This is a really gorgeous shade and it's nice and smooth. Next we have red eyes, thick thighs, a unique black base with red sparkles and multi-chrome shifting flakes that travels red, teal, black. And I'm actually wearing that shade on the outer corner. Now I think that shift might be a little harder to see, but I, 
I don't really see the teal, but it's really the flakes that they're talking about. So yeah, oh, I do see some teal flakes actually. Next we have Mason Monster, a green tinged peanut matte. And I love these kind of mustardy shades. I think that's a great description, peanut tinged. I like that. I really do like the choice of mattes in this palette. I think they go together really, really well. So there's Mason Monster. 57 Chevy is a smoky duochrome that shifts red orange. Hopefully you can see that there. Premonitions, a dark steel gray satin shadow. Oh, that is beautiful. Inhuman Am Moth is a vibrant orange multi-chrome that shifts gold blue pink. I'm just gonna go over that one one more time. Oh yes, and I can see the gold, I can see the blue, and I can see the pink. That's really pretty. Phenomenom Nom Nom is a silver teal multi-chrome that shifts green teal blue. Just gonna go over it one more time. So you can pick up that shift. Goth Moth is a black and purple duochrome with sparkles that shift gold teal. I, originally, I wouldn't have described this as a black and purple, but I do see it now. That's nice. Moth Buns, a glowing purple shadow with red sparkles. Live, Laugh, Lurk, a red-blue duochrome shadow with rose gold sparks. Ooh, that reminds me of like the green-brown type duochrome we, we do see in uh, different palettes. We've seen some like this before. Sorry about the middle finger. Pretty. Glowing Peepers, a red-gold shifting duochrome. I'm gonna swatch that one again. This one's a little chalkier than some of the others that we've swatched. It's probably just because it's one of those uh, like white icy shades. But you can kind of see the pink shimmer there. Pleasant Legend, a unique multi-chrome that shifts rose gold, plum, purple, gold. Swatching it one more time. Just trying to catch the shifts. The second matte in the palette is a Booty Boy, a medium cinnamon matte. I am wearing Booty Boy right now, so don't worry about the swatch. I know it's swatching really light, but it blended out very lovely. I loved it. And last we have MILF, Mothman I'd Like to Find, a vibrant pink base multi-chrome with sparkles that shift gold, green, and pink. Oh, that's pretty. Swatch it one more time. Just kind of going on my elbow. And I'm gonna stand up and um, show you the swatches. They do note that the retail value of the combined shades in the palette is $169.85. All right, I turned off one of the side lights so you can see all of the swatches of the Mothman palette. This looks really good swatched out. This is my first time uh, swatching it. Initial reaction for the swatches, they look great. This is a great color story and um, in a way, it's a bit cohesive, I think. I think that if you are getting into indie, this could be a good palette. I just think it's hard to see that in the layout. In this video, you're gonna see me do three looks that I did for work. For two of the looks, I decided to use a companion palette and I decided to pull out this Viseart Dark Mats palette. You'll see me hold them up side by side. I just thought this palette was really complimentary to the Mothman palette and just gave me some options since we only had the two mattes. So that's why I brought in the companion palette. This look, I didn't use anything else, but yeah, it definitely gives just some more options for the mattes as far as like the direction that you wanna take the eyeshadow look. So we're gonna get into the three looks now I'm gonna be chatting it up about my week and then I'll be back to close out the video all right you guys I have been waiting to use this Mothman palette forever so we're gonna start with the first look I've not swatched the palette or done anything with it so it's so cute and look at the little butt oh wait the butt's on the little butt okay so yeah it is 706 I need to be out here by like 
$7.25 at the latest. I think we can pull off a look. Okay, I got a lot of doingness going on, so I will tell you what I have on my face while I am putting on this look. And I'm gonna go into Mason Monster first. I am using a Refer 27 brush. And let's see how to manipulate this because we got the little mirror here. All right, let's do it quickly. Have on the MAC Paint Primer in Soft Ochre. On my face, I'm actually wearing Huda Beauty Glowish. Y'all remember Huda Beauty Glowish? It's very nice. I have a pump of the NARS foundation in there. Oh, can y'all see my lips? So I am 99% sure that I cannot wear the Hourglass lipstick. Ugh, I don't know if y'all can see it, but... Mm -mm. And this is how I react when I have Fenty. So it's like, there are these little blisters all over and my lips just feel really tight. It's very sad. All right, this color's great. So the Notoriously Morbid mattes are very powdery, but they blend beautifully. I mean, look how easy this is. I love it. And see, in this palette, I really like the choice of mattes. Sometimes with their palettes, like the Queen of Hearts, I didn't like those mattes because one was just white and one was like this bright blue. And I was like, I'm going to have to automatically always pull something in uh, with this palette if I want to use it. And so that deters me. But this Mothman story, I, you know, don't care for the layout as much, but I don't know anything about Mothman and it might have, it might mean more to me had I known. That's really nice, really nice. I look tired, but that's okay. Let's see, this is gonna be very uh, simplistic today. I don't really know what shimmer I wanna use, which is you know, always a predicament. Oh, that's nice, that's really nice. Ooh, that's really pretty. So anyway, the Hourglass. Um, I had this shade Larch and I ordered Dove. I'm, I'm just gonna return them both. I, the only other thing I tried the day before that was the K Skin, but I feel like it wasn't that. Okay, I already know what shade. Yes. Um, I medicine. All of it? The white medicine too? No. Did you take the white medicine? Yeah. Oh, okay. Ooh, give me them beans. Give me them beans. That's the shade I want to use. Look at this. I'm just putting a little bit of my door line by Inglot right here on my hand. And let's just see. This one's pretty smooth. It's not super sparkly. I don't know if I really need it, so I'm just kind of tapping it. Today I'm feeling a neutral look. Like I almost want to grab a brown from like Natasha Denona or something to put with this. Say good morning. No, August, you have to brush your teeth. Yeah, I think I do want to pull something else in. You can, after you real quick brush your teeth. This is, oh my God, look at the shift on that shade. Look at that, y'all. Yeah, I just, honestly, I think I'm gonna pull brown from somewhere and we're gonna call it a day. You know, this one's like, it's very sparkly, but it's not super flaky. So you really don't need a mixing medium with this one, but I do find with a lot of the notoriously morbid shadows, I do. Oh my gosh. Mmm. I hope that's translating because I don't really know how else to share this one. This is so spectacular. I have the Sydney Grace blending brush. Um, let me just go back into Mason Monster for the under eye, and then I'm gonna go into the crease. I might want to use a deep brown. Let's see. Um, trouble got in trouble. Who got in trouble? Uh, and then he said, "Don't." And then the squirrel said, "Don't touch it." Oh, cause you're funny. You're a funny guy. You're a funny boy then. Oh, I'm loving the top of this, but it needs a brown for me. I need a brown. I'm gonna take a pencil brush and let's do an inner corner highlight and then I know we're going out of order. Ooh, ooh, this is called Glowing Peepers. Peepers? I already put my puffs in those Thank you, August. That really makes me happy that you're taking medicine for your benefit. This uh, Give Me Them Bean shade, that's spectacular. Okay, this is good. What time is it? Ooh, 7.14. All right, got about six minutes. Um, August would like to show you his music while I go get a brown uh, shadow, if that's okay with you guys. Okay, August, listen, we don't have a whole lot of time. Sorry. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Bye. I don't have time to angle this down. 
Um, why don't we just put it right here? They can hear the beat, okay? Go ahead, they can hear it. Can you hear me? They can hear you. I know it's low. I'm just make sure the mic is on. Yeah, go ahead, babe. Go get your figure out your shoes. Get your um Star Wars Don't hoodie. Do this in come the on, camera. let's go. Get your Star Wars hoodie. Bye, everyone. Okay, come on. Don't be telling me to stop. I'm trying to be nice. No, no, I'm trying to be nice. I just grabbed this Vizzy Arts, what is this called? Dark matte palette. I'm and I'm using this here. shade right here. I already put it on this eye, so I don't know if you can tell. But it just I'm makes it a little smoky. That's the only thing with this palette, that the mattes are more transitional. So if you want more of a smoky look, you're probably gonna have to pull in something else. I am using the BK Beauty A504 brush. Now I'm gonna grab a Bristles Beauty EO2 R1 brush to blend it out a little more. And just wanna blend the deeper brown with the Notoriously Morbid shade. Blend it up into the brow bone. It's a little rushed, but here's the first look with our Mothman palette. Don't know about lipstick today, <laughs> unfortunately, because mm -mm, it's a mess. I will be back with the final look though. Make sure my ponytails are even. A little preppy cardigan. I love cardigans, y'all. Cardigans are just the best. Anyway, this is the final look. And I used the Victoria Beckham liner in the shade Bordeaux, just on the bottom lashes. And I have on Dior Show Mascara and I have a trusty lipstick on, which is my Dior Patchwork. It's my favorite. It's my favorite. I will make sure I don't wash it again. And that's it. So what do I think about this look? I really like it. I like it a lot. I really like that I also pulled out this because this is gonna be the perfect companion palette for this. Let's look at them really fast as I continue to make myself later and later for work. But look, isn't that perfect? This is perfect. So I'm gonna keep this out for the other looks because I think it's gonna really come in handy. Oh, this is adorable. This shade, give me them beans though. That one, oh my gosh, very, very special shade. Very special. So let me know what you think about this first look. It looks regular from here, but special up close. You know, I am a fan of that. So I hope you all have a good day and I'll see you in a second for look number two. All right, you guys, we are back. We're gonna do a look number two with the Mothman palette. Headband. Haven't pulled this one out in a while. Still dipping in to my Vizzy Arts Dark Matte palette. And I think I'm going to go green for this look. Going in with a Sydney Grace a tapered blender. I've got my melt mirror today. I was gonna get the child, but I feel like I just had it, but whatever, can't be too matchy matchy. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and tap into that green mat and we're gonna start on the outer corner. Oh, look at that nice blend. Okay, see, I do understand why people talk about the Vizzy Art mats, because they are very nice, they really are. I just really think this palette is so complimentary of the uh, Mothman palette. Like, it's it's a very, very nice compliment. Oh, something else, y'all. Daylight savings time took me down. I don't know, today is Monday the 13th. So yesterday, oh man, yesterday was just a down day because, well, let's talk about the weekend. Saturday, we celebrated my dad's 70th birthday and we ended up doing it here, which was a great day. It was a Saturday fun day, great times. Um, we just had a great time, everything was great. And with all of that, uh, Sunday, I did not realize, well, I always realized it, but it's usually more in advance that Sunday was Mark's birthday and he would have been 48. So when I woke up and just saw the date on my phone, it was just like, I just was sad. Like, I was just like, usually what we do is we, Mark really liked Chinese food and he really liked shrimp egg foo young. And even after he passed, we would order it even though nobody would eat it. and. I, 
a combination of what I ate and drank for my dad's thing. I just had no appetite. I was man down like mentally and physically. I'm okay now, but it's just several times a year, just certain holidays, birthdays, Father's Day, all that stuff. It's just, it's just really, really tough. You know what I mean? So yeah, there was that. And then on top of that, we lost the hour. So I was just like, Dee. but you know what? I'm thankful. I made it to work this morning. Uh, we had a great day. August asthma was acting up and my mom was gracious enough to drive all the way across town, pick August up, take him to the doctor, got his prednisone, everything was great. Tyrone went to my mom's across town to pick him up. I went to pick up Marky and then the two minute drive from picking Marky up, I ran over a nail had a flat tire so AAA came and tried to pay them to plug it but that did not happen so now that's the next thing I have to figure out so I have the donut and by the time you're watching this everything should be great and I should be with Dr. Ash for the very first time I'm very excited I'm sad though because I was uh, supposed to meet Yachty for the first time and yeah it's definitely going on three years for me knowing Yachty and I met ash not long after same year but i met yadi first the story is i randomly because i don't watch everybody's stories randomly clicked on tara lynn y'all know tara lynn randomly clicked on her stories and she's like my friend just started a youtube channel and i'm like "Ooh, i'm about to start my channel like click on her page so i watched her video and then i left her comment and then we became fast friends that's the story. So I'm, I'm sad because I was supposed to meet Yachty last year. And at first was like, I don't really feel comfortable traveling because of the COVID situation. But then Mark, is that what happened? Mark and August both got COVID. Mm -hmm. I want to say it was, was it last July? I can't remember when it was. I'm getting it all confused, but it just didn't happen. Huh? You're hungry. What are you hungry for? Oh, something smells good. Those are probably those Bath and Body Works wallflowers that smell like cakey. It smells like cake. All right, so here's the deal. Um, you, August, look at this. Let me show you something so cute. It is your stick from Puerto Rico. And where did that come from? Let me show you something. Look at this. Look, that's called the Mothman. Isn't he cute? It was his spell. Oh, beans with the Z. But look at this. <laughs> it's so cute, his little booty. All right, bye August, because you're not even out here trying to. No, August, you're not taking a picture of the booty because what you gonna do? What you gonna do? Don't send it to people. I will. <laughs> All right, so the shade I wanna go into is Phenomenon Nom Nom. I just it, sent it in. Um, me. It's this one. Yes, Phenomenon Nom Nom. nom. Wait, let me see. Wait, wait, where is it? And this is a duochrome. It's wait, so where does it say phenomenon? Phenomenon nom nom. No, it's a, it says phenomenon. Phenomenon. Stop. Phenomenon nom 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 phenomenon. Phonics. Okay. So that's this one here, and it's Mama. duochromatic. Mm, I was going. Okay, this might kind of look monochromatic. This could braid your hair. It may be. I don't need that. Mama, hmm? what food is it? Oh, this is cute. So, um, what's for dessert? I really don't know. Let's see what this goth moth looks nice too. Uh, they're gonna look kind of similar. Oh, gives a little more dimension. I feel like the other look was monochromatic though. So now I don't wanna do that. I changed my mind. I'm not happy with that because if I get hit, that's gonna be a serious problem. August, go ahead, stop. Okay, I can't do dessert. Okay, I changed my mind of okay. all of this. I'm thinking maybe 1966. It's gonna give it a nice little glow. Cause we use Gimme Them Beans. Moth buns. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. I'm, I'm gonna stick with that. And I do, that is nice. Oh, that is really nice. But we're gonna do 1966. Just a little little more contrast there. And uh, I've got sparkles everywhere. 
So got my Inglot door line here. Just gonna go ahead and put this in the middle. Yeah, I think that's a good choice. Yeah, so I'm curious about this color story that they are coming out with this week and we will just have to see. I'm gonna take my finger now that I kind of have some uh, Inglot on there and just pat this in. Try not to get too much fallout, but that's a nice Can little combo. Oh no, it's too late for hot chocolate. Every time I get milk. Yeah, but you know what? Milk is chocolate. You know what? I don't think that's a good idea for you. But milk is chocolate. Hmm? Milk is chocolate. No, milk is not chocolate, but. Mm -hmm. Hey, August, why? I'm okay, leave. great. I don't want you to leave. I want you to go find an, a dessert option. That looks good. And then I'm gonna go back into the Viseart in a minute. Just pressing it. And that's the only thing, like there is a bit of a learning curve in my opinion with working uh, with these shadows. Mm. My next look, I need to use Booty Boy. Ah, I gotta use that next. I gotta use Booty Boy. Booty Boy, like these melony type colors, I gotta use those next. Cause so far I've done like grunge and which is cool, we like grunge. We like a good grungy moment. But this is this is nice. Okay, so I'm gonna be done with this and then go back into the green. Ooh, oh no! Oh, that was just the mirror. Oh my God, I thought that was the palette. That's why I don't need these palettes to disconnect because this is too much. So I have this uh, Morphe Coca-Cola brush. It's just a crease brush. It's nothing special. And it's a tapered one. Just played myself I'm doing it. Uh, anyway, what was I talking about? Being tired, tired of being sick and tired, still trying to find the answer to life. Just blending this in and here, this little spot right there. Okay, now I wanna do the inner corner. This isn't like, mm, I don't feel like this is a super special look, but I think it's pretty. I do think it's very nice. So we have 57 Chevy, which could be nice for the inner corner. It's another dual chrome. But we also have glowing peepers. I think glowing peepers is the way. And alas, we have another Morphe Coca-Cola brush. And this is the one I'm gonna use here. That's what we have. And then we need a under eye shade. Going back into the Viseart palette. And I'm just gonna go probably into this brown right here. Using this brush from Ig Show, it's just a flat shader. And there we have look number two, and I'm here for it. This is really cute. Like I said, have I done a look like this before? Yes, but I think it's really cute. I like it. I want to use a green liner, like something in the lower uh, water line, and I will get be right dessert. back. Hmm? I can't get dessert. You make it dessert. Greg. More chocolate. So let me just tell y'all how every day if Marky does well, his grandparents give him a whole chocolate bar. Like not a couple of the little bricks, like a whole chocolate bar. And that's the problem. Like he's used to eating whole chocolate bars. Marky, you have a cavity that has to be, you have to be put under to get filled. Priorities. Got my Oh, the these house. are hearts. Ooh, I like these hearts. You can have those. All right, you guys, I'm back with the finished look. So I do really like this. And I chose to use the Charlotte Tilbury Green Lights liner. It's the double ended liner and I'm using the matte side just in the waterline. For mascara, I'm actually testing uh, out. It's okay. You forgot what? My fault, but it's okay. It's okay. For mascara, I am testing out the new Maybelline Falsies Surreal Mascara, just so you can see. I don't know if I'm doing a whole video on it, but, or I can't. Oh, actually I wanted to try it with the mascara and then I bought this L'Oreal uh, Voluminous Primer. That is not a magnifying glass. Why did he take my melt mirror? He's looking for his phone. So I, I think this mascara is nice actually. I have to see like how it lasts throughout the day. But as far as like the length and everything, I think it looks nice. Right now I'm wearing a Merit lip oil that has kind of dried and I need to reapply it and I can't find it. But it's, you found it, it's this, but it's not this exact one. You've used the mirror? 
Um, the one that I'm using is like a nude beige. Let's see what this looks like. I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna like this with it. Uh, Should have just stuck with what I had. But I need to reapply something because you know that K skin sunscreen. Mm -mm, that's a nope. It is going back to the store. The blush is RMS Beauty Mai Tai. This one here, love it. And I think that's it. <gasps> No, wait a minute, I bought out an oldie but goodie. Hold on, hold on everybody. Definitely told myself I was bringing out my Fenty highlighter, y'all. I love this one. This is the Sandcastle in Mint Mojito. I use the Sandcastle. We build sandcastles, then washed away. All right, sorry. Still don't have Beyonce tickets. Anyway, that's that. That's what I've got on y'all. I am gonna try to pan. I never do any pan talk, but I'm trying to finish up my uh, Huda Beauty foundation. And y'all, this foundation is so nice. I have that on with my Dior concealer today and I'm using my Rare Beauty powder. Bet y'all didn't know I had that. I actually really like that powder. Let me know what you think, it might just be me. I'm wondering if I like it better than my Tatcha powder because Tatcha powder is really, for the most part, everything that I wear. But that's not what this video is about. We can talk about that in a roundup. Anyway, I like look number two. I liked look number one. And I'm excited to explore some of the colors that I have not used for look number three. So let's get to that now. Hey, you guys. All right, we are back for the third look with our Mothman. Our Mothman and Vizzy Arts combo situation <sighs> okay it's 707 i need to be out by 725 at the latest all right now we'll keep doing that it's immature now i did not use booty boy so we're going to be using booty boy booty boy the butt's right here you want to say hi to everybody i'm using a refer 27 brush hi uh, we have to get ready to go we do and we shall hurry up I can get ready. Go turn that light off and the light off upstairs. Do that. Do that. Ooh. Let me stop. I didn't even do anything yet. Oh, I like this color though. So I got my tire fixed yesterday. I know I need new tires, but I need other stuff too. Like $1,600 worth of work. It's like, come on. So there's that. That's what I'll be looking forward to when I get back from my little weekend with dr ash oh i really like this brush with these mats all right look at that that's just a nice little blend a little soft look why is he red eyes thick thighs because they have red eyes and thick thighs let's take re so red eyes thick thighs um i was trying to think about this for what maybe the outer corner thighs your thighs there. your legs the upper part Let's just see. Okay, so we've got a little sparkle here, which is nice, really nice. And I didn't use the door line, which you probably might want to. This is a very pretty shade, very glittery. Looks like silver and red reflex in this shade. And it looks really nice. Yeah, I like that actually. I'm just gonna blend it with the Refer 27. Let's do Live Laugh Lurk. That's this one here. Use it my finger. I don't do red eyes. I just put red eyes thick thighs on. Go where? Your cheeks. No, what? This is good. I was not expecting to do this look. Wow, look at y'all. Okay, now this is what the Mothman palette is all about right here. It's like the sunset before the Mothman comes out. <laughs> I'm gonna take Inhuman and Moth and Moth right here and just have a little pencil brush. Now this one, I'm gonna use the Mix and Medium. It's the, you know, it's going in my inner corner. That is so nice. Let me know if y'all are gonna wanna see another video. I just feel like now, like after this look, you ever, have you ever done a look like that where you're like, oh, the other ones were just okay. I'm just taking the same brush back into Booty Boy. <laughs> For the lower lashes. So yeah, let me know if y'all want to see another video. Cause look, 
we could use this with like the silver. I mean, there are like lots of possibilities. But as of right now, I'm loving this one. Love this look. I'm going to finish it up and be back. Okay, you guys, I am back with the finished look and I'm extremely happy with this one. I really like it a lot. I'm still trying out the Maybelline Surreal Falsies Mascara and I have a navy blue liner, matte liner from Charlotte Tilbury. <sighs> this, this one takes the cake for me. Um, I have felt really inspired with this one and I wasn't sure you know, where it was going, but I like this one a lot. I think it really encompasses the palette. All right, I'll be back to close out this video. All right, you guys, so overall, not gonna make this long. I think this is a great palette from Notoriously Morbid. I definitely like it more than the last palette that I used, which was the Queen of Hearts palette. This color story just speaks to me a lot more and there were no flaky shades. I cannot stand the flaky shades. So I really like that about this palette. I also like the choice of mattes. Sometimes with Notoriously Morbid because they don't always include a lot of mattes. I'm like, well, the mattes that you do include, I want to use them. And I felt like with Queen of Hearts, there was like a white matte and then there was a bright blue. I think that was a matte. And I was just like, oh, I'm going to have to pull in something else. But with this one, I could definitely create looks with these two mattes. I think they're great choices. They're not super deep though, but I did get some depth from using the red eyes, the thick thighs shade. But as you saw in the first look, I did feel the need to have like a deeper brown which is why I originally pulled out the uh, Viseart palette. All in all this is another hit for Notoriously Morbid and honestly now that I understand about the Mothman and that it's a West Virginia legend I couldn't see them come out with the palette in any other way. Like they just did a regular palette with you know the Mothman on the front. I think that it would have been cute but I think that people who are really into Mothman really do appreciate this layout and the design. It is really beautifully crafted as it says on the back. I feel like this is a truly unique palette and it's really representative of Notoriously Morbid and their creativity. So I, I just really enjoy seeing uh, what they're gonna come out with. It's always exciting. Even if it's a color story that I'm not super into, the ideas are just there and I really love that about the brand. So let me know if you purchased this palette. I know I've talked to some of you and you did. It's just taken me a really long time to really settle down and use it just because I haven't been wearing eyeshadow as much, but now that I have used it, I really, really do enjoy it. So let me know your thoughts if you got it or if you're thinking about it. And I'm gonna let y'all go. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you so much for taking out some of your time and hanging out with me for another Mimosas and Makeup. I hope this was therapy for you. It always is for me. And until I see you again, make sure you are being gentle with yourself. Talk to yourself nice, stay safe, and I'll see y'all really soon. Bye. Go block your ego.